so hello everyone welcome to my youtube channel i hope you guys are doing great so in this video i'm going to show you how you can model that kind of low poly apple in blender and we'll also talk about how you can create that kind of animation as well here you can see so if i hit the space bar so here you can see we have a, that kind of animation as well so we'll also talk about how we can create that kind of animation and i have another render also here you can see this is the first render and this is the second render okay so now let's start the tutorial so first of all we'll model this apple then we'll just add the rigid body physics into these apples and then we'll create that kind of animation as well and one more thing guys if you guys want to do practice on this project file so you can download this project file from the description that will be free for my all subscriber so now let's start the tutorial so i'm not going to delete anything apart from these apples because uh, uh, apart from that we need it because we need this uh, spare as well and we need this ground plane as well so i'm just going to delete only these apples basically I'm going to delete it yeah that's it so first of all I'm just going to my front view and uh, from here I'm just going to add one spear and then I'm just going to hide everything apart from this spear and then I'm just going to my solid mode and I'm just going to my left view basically okay then I'm just going to edit mode of this spear and going to select this top vertices middle top vertices from here and then I'm just going to enable my proportion editing and then I'm just going to move it downside pressing the Z and Z so you can see we'll see something like that i'm just going to move it something like that and that's look great by the way okay okay and same thing we'll do with the bottom part as well i'm just going to select this bottom vertices then i'm just going to move it upside something like that yeah and that's look great by the way okay and after that i'm just going to add little exaggeration into this shape basically i'm just going to little bit move it from here and I'm just going to my top view and going to move it little bit here and little bit here as well okay because apple is not perfectly rounded that's why I'm going to make it something like that and we can just uh, move these vertices little upside okay yeah something like that now that's look great and then I'll just create a tail here okay so I'm just going to add one cylinder going to scale it and keep it here and I'm just going to front view and going to enable my x-ray view and I'm just going to scale it first of all I'm just going to disable my proportion editing yeah something like that and scale it extrude it little bit move extrude it little bit move and one more time I'm just going to extrude it and little bit move from here then I'm just going to scale it Then we'll create a leaf part so for creating the leaf part i'm just going to add one plane here pressing the shift a then i'm just going to move it here and then i will just add one modifier it's called a uh, subdivision surface modifier increase the uh, viewport level then i'm just going to edit mode of this plane and going to scale these vertices pressing the s and little bit this one so here you can see we have a perfect leaf shape here and I'm just going to apply it so when I will go to the edit mode of this leaf we have an extra loop here and I'm just going to move it little bit upside yeah basically I'm just going to create little exaggeration then I'm just going to select all vertices going to extrude it something like that okay and I think that look great yeah and uh, one more thing I want to do basically I'm just going to edit mode of this leaf then I'm just going to extrude these part from here and going to move it little inside going to extrude it one more time yeah so you can see we have a leaf here as well i'm just going to scale it going to keep it here it into our x axis and little scale it so you can see we have a leaf part here as well i'm just going to keep it here you can keep it anywhere by the way okay this shouldn't be a perfect yeah that should be look like a leaf okay but uh, here you can see right now we can't see that kind of low poly effect basically here you can see we have a uh, that kind of triangle here so how we can create these kind of triangle effect basically so for that i will just add one more modifier it's called decimate modifier i'm just going to select my apple then i'm just going to add the that uh, decimate modifier then i will just go to my unsubdivide section and from here i'm just going to increase the attrition one two and three so here you can see we have a low poly apple here and same thing i'm just going to apply first of all then i'm just going to apply same modifier here 
one two three and here you can see we have a perfect triangle shape here and then I'm just going to apply it same thing will will uh, and same thing will do with this leaf as well and subdivide hydration value and we can decrease one more time yeah I think that's look great that shouldn't be perfect because that is low poly now yeah I think that's look great okay so here you can see our modeling part is done now I'm just, I'm just going to add the material into our object okay and I will just go to here I have already created some material for this apple I have already created one red material okay there is nothing only I have just changed the base color and I have already one dark color for this tail and this leaf I have a little light green color and that's look great we can just move it something here yeah I think that's look great by the way okay so we have a perfect shape here then I'm just going to join this mesh pressing the control J okay then I'm just going to set origin as a object so we have a perfect origin into our object so now we have a model here then I'm just going to little scale this model and going to unhide everything pressing the alt H so here we have our scene so first one I'm just going to scale this going to apply the scale and now uh, I'm just going to my top view then I'm just going to keep it here okay and then I'm just going to move it a little bit upside and uh, so now I'm just going to duplicate this apple basically pressing the shift D and I'm just going to move it X axis keep it here Then I'm just press the shift R for the repeat command then I'm just going to select my four apple okay then I'm just going to copy this on a Y axis then I'm just going to press the shift R for the repeat command yeah that's look great then I'm just going to select all my apples and then I'm just going to duplicate pressing the shift D move it upside then I will just press the shift R 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 I think that much apple is enough to me okay and make sure it should be centered into our object our uh, spare basically okay then I'm just going to select one apple and going to add the reset body simulation into this one apple going to uh, type as a active and uh, shape as a mesh and decrease the margin of zero okay and apart from that you don't need to change anything and I have used the for this uh, ground plane I have used the passive mesh and margin is zero and same thing I have used the passive and spare and I didn't use any kind of collision margin between okay after that I'm just going to select this one okay select this one where we have add the all uh, resident body properties then I'm just going to my object section okay and then I'm just going to select my all uh, apples pressing the right click into our collection then I'm just going to select object then I will select the my last object pressing the shift then I will just go to my object lizard body okay here I will select copy from the active and it will take little time then here you can see we have all same setting into our all object okay and then I'm just going to my camera view and then I'm just going to hit the space bar and here you can see we have a perfect animation here here you can see that's look great by the way if I'm just going to move it here here you can see I'm just going to show you from here that's look great so that's how you can create a low poly apple and that's how you can create that kind of low poly falling down animation also that is very uh, that is super easy trick basically and there is nothing to do more here you can see you can just play this animation in a loop here you can see that's look great by the way okay and don't forget to download this project file from the description if you guys want to do practice if you guys want to see my settings what i have exactly use okay and if you found this project file helpful for you so make sure you hit the subscribe button and thanks for watching this video guys if you learned something in this video please hit the like button hit the share button and subscribe my channel also if you have any queries if you have any suggestion please let me know in the comment box i will definitely reply comment so bye bye take care and stay home guys